a Thursday night showdown in the Imperial Valley. Welcome back, everyone. Football action taking place across the valley tonight. A prime matchup, though, featuring two teams both looking for another W, although for very different reasons. To Shimamoto Simpson Stadium we go. Imperial Tigers looking to keep their winning ways, while the Holtville Vikings looking to get to back over 500 on the season. Beginning in the first quarter, Tigers up 3-0. Vikes going for it on fourth and one from their 29. They hand it back to senior back Austin Marini, who breaks a tackle and gets free towards the sideline. Big run for Marini, a 20-yard gain for the Vikings. A couple plays later, though, third down for Holtville. They mishandled the snap. Imperials Pablo Moreno says thank you very much and takes this to the house. A 50-yard scoop and score to extend the Tiger lead to 10. Imperial would end up winning this one big, 41-7. They get to 6-1. Holtville, meanwhile, falls to under 500 at 3-4 for the first time this season. For the full highlights, be sure to tune in to Friday Night Lights tomorrow night. Over to Cal Jones Field now. Calexico's Fernando Solano prepping his Bulldogs for the Spartans of Central, bringing the horse, the band, and all the feels for the hometown crowd. After a Calexico punt, Central's first possession, Damian Rodriguez, as rolls right, shakes a defender, but can't shrug off. Junior Luis Alcala, great play there from a fellow Luis. Moments later, from midfield, Rodriguez airs it downfield, and he is going to find senior wideout Gavin Marini with a great catch inside the 20 Spartans. Down to the 14, Central first and goal from the four. They give it to Charlie Sullivan, and he has the ball taken away by senior linebacker Troy Martin, and he will return it inside the Spartan 40. Calexico, then on offense. Well, they're going to take the snap here in just a little bit. So what's going to happen when the Bulldogs snap it? Uh-oh. It is going to be a mishandled snap ball recovered by the Spartans. Number 10, Skyler Cook on the pickup, and that would set up this play. Rodriguez finding Sullivan on the wheel route. This is going to be a 44-yard touchdown. Central rolls at home 34-14. Again, for the full highlights of this game and Imperial Holtville, be sure to tune in tomorrow on Friday Night Lights. I felt really good. I stretched really good today. I felt like this is going to be a good race. Moving on, local boys and girls cross-country teams, including Kofa, Cibola, and Gila Ridge, met for a tri-meet yesterday, putting their endurance to the test on the hills of West Wetlands Park. Holding back our top seven for boys and girls, Mainly because we have a big focus at the moment uh, is for the Titan invite. Um, there's going to be some pretty big schools that are going to be running in that one. And the, just trying to get them into racing shape for those meets. With Jose Villasenor resting his horses, more opportunities for his younger runners, Eduardo Marquez, getting his Hawks teammates ready, while the Kofa Kings stand calm and focused. The boys' teams kicked off the 5K event from West Wetlands Park next to Castle Park, followed by all three of the girls' teams during the race. Take a look at Kofa freshman Sabrina Anaya. She's caught up to the boys, and she would win the girls' heat with a time of 22-25. Gila Ridges' Eduardo Marquez took the top spot for the boys with a time of 1914, and he said he could have ran it even faster. Man, that was the most confusing run ever. They gave us the wrong directions, and so I ended up running, like, I think a quarter of a mile more, so I ended up having a small time. I also ended up getting a thorn in my shoe, which was which is very uncomfortable. You know, it was poking to me throughout the last mile. But overall, I knew that even with these circumstances, I had to push through and I still had to win and really be there for my team, also cheer them on uh, because they were also took the wrong route. Wow, way to push through. A great day of running. Kofa finished first for the boys with 21 points. The Cibola girls took the top prize with 39 points. The city championship meet is on October 19th. That's all the time we have for sports.